Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Mixed Media Frenzy. That's where we all use the same sketch or layout. And in this case, it's a layout, and this is by Cassie Box. And she's the owner of Paper Issues, and she did this for a challenge called Stitching B. B-E-E, -E, and she used a picture of her tattoo with a B. And a hexagon die cut, which I have a die that cuts a hexagon, and I'll be using it in my layout. But she has some really gorgeous butterflies. And I'm going to be using my punch to make my butterflies. And here I am showing it again and propping it up so I don't forget something. <laughs> I think she only had four colors in hers, and I'm going to have five. But that light blue one don't hardly count. It's not very dark on there. It's almost clear by the time I put it on there. But it still has a little line there and a drip. She has drips, so I made sure I had drips too. So I added extra water so this would be sure to make drips going down the page. But that's the light blue that I was talking about. And see how light it is. But since it's in the middle and there will be stuff on top of it, it won't be quite as noticeable that it's not very dark. This is the caramel color. I love that caramel color. It's kind of in between of a super light brown and the yellow. And then when I put the yellow on here, they almost look alike. It's a good thing I have them spaced apart. And this is the yellow. And, you, and if you look really close, you can tell it's got a little more yellow than the other one does. But my honeycomb thing, the dye that I was talking about, it's going to be, well, I'm using a yellow chevron paper. So it's all right having two colors that's alike since I'm going to have that on there and it's going to be yellow too. It'll be like my main color or something. And this is the peach colored one. And so that makes one, two, three, four, five. That's it. That's, that's all I'm putting on the layout. Except for the splatters. And I did put a few already, but I'm going to add some more. And then while this is drying, I'm going to find a few other things to do. <laughs> because I can't wait. I'm going to lay it in front of the fan. So it will go faster. And I do have a heat gun. But it seems to warp so bad when I use the heat gun. It does much better with the fan. And this is a picture of my niece, Cherokee. And that's her little dog, Layla. And she is crazy about that dog. Of course, that dog's crazy about her, too. Anyway, she posted this on Facebook. And she put across the bottom of the picture, River Bound. So, i got to use it for my title. I thought about making some making a longer title and have that in the middle but then i got to thinking i will have riverbound happiness found and use those letters right there because they are the same color uh -huh, how fortunate that is but i'm inking this in broken china yeah broken china and then here here's that punch that heart punch that i say we have a love-hate relationship with. I don't know if sometimes I have a little more oomph behind my pushing on the punch than others, but today is not one of the days. This is the hate day relationship. So I had to get another punch out for my heart. And I did, did three of them too. Three butterflies and three hearts. I did punch one heart out ahead of time because those are clouds on the back, and I wanted to see if you could really tell they were clouds on the butterfly, and you couldn't. They, they look fine, the hearts and the cloud, uh, the butterflies both do, so I went ahead and used it. And this is the hexagon die, and it's a Tim Holtz die. And like I said, I used the chevron, the yellow chevron to do it with, but then I inked it a little bit too. She has twine going through her layout, but she has two different colors. And I'm only going to use one color. And it's about the same color as the le uh, the thickers over there and what's going across the bottom of the picture for her river bound. And I thought it would go pretty good with it and bring out the blue in another place. And I'm just going to glue it down here with this liquid glue. And I use the art glitter glue. So it... Really, it dries pretty quick and it's in place pretty quick. I don't have to wait too long. I just have to hold it a second and then go on. She also had it kind of wound through the honeycomb. 
I thought, well, that looks cute too. <laughs> Another part of the inspiration that I'm going to use. So yeah, it's going to get wound through there. That's why I had to cut it off because on that little card, I just couldn't wind it through the hexagon. And then I'm going to have it go off the page. Since she had two colors, I thought, well, I'll go off the page and then come back on, even though it's the same color. And I'm just going to glue the hexagon straight down onto the paper and, yeah, go off the page with it and then bring the other one back on. And my picture, I am going to put it on foam tape, but y'all aren't going to see it. I cut it out. I thought. I think I can just cut it out and it won't even seem like I ever moved the picture. Through the magic of video editing, that is, it's going to look like it was all seamless, like it was glued down to start with. Oh, and I guess I'm putting the title on next. I'm not putting the other piece of twine on yet. But it's Riverbound Happiness Found. And then the very last thing I'm going to end up doing is putting an ampersand in between the two. Because I want everybody, if they look at the layout, know that those two sets of words go together. And I'm going to put it right on top of the picture. Oh, finally, I am going to do the twine. I did put a knot in the end of it and a knot in the end of the other one down there. Because I like knots in the end of them. And then they don't ravel if they've got the knot there. Of course, if you put enough glue on there, I don't guess they would either. And I am going to go back later and add some washi tape on there too. But at the moment, I just glued them to the back rather than pull the whole thing up. I have it adhered down on my mat so it don't curl up while I'm trying to do my layout. And these Spiegel Mom Scrap sequences, they're really pretty. And the name is a tongue twister. It's she sells sea shells and I'm not saying it twice but I it's probably discontinued because I've had it a long time but I thought the colors would go great with my layout and since they're going to the river I thought they'd go great with it too and I was just checking to see if they were all stuck and they weren't so I had to put glue on a couple of more then I thought oh I forgot all about my hearts and my butterflies so yeah, I'm putting them on now. And I'm having to do a little bit of tucking to get them on there. But once I put them on there, I thought, wow, they're lacking a little something. So I'm going to pull out my Wink of Stella pin. And it's got glitter. And so I'm going to put glitter on the hearts and the butterflies too. And the one I'm going to be using is clear and since it's clear, it's just going to cover the whole thing. And when you see the layout at the end on the pictures, it's still going to be wet because I took the pictures right after I got done with this. And it will look clearer, clearer when it's dry. But I think that's all I do to my layout after I get that done. And so if you look down there below, you will see the links to all the other guys that's doing Mixed Media Frenzy today. And I'm going to try and name them. It's Kathy and Kathy, <laughs> Krista, the Scrappy Sisters, Dolly, and Shannon. See, I got them all. But yeah. Uh, check their channels out and see what they did with the same inspiration that I had and see what they created with their layout today. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if you liked the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. But all of you are, thank you so much. But have a happy scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.